What's poppin' people? Welcome back to another video and today we're gonna be doing a little bit of pond hopping. Woke up this morning, I was like, you know, I got nothing to do on this Saturday. I'm gonna go fishing and like the last three videos, it's 45 and raining. So we're gonna try and catch fish like we always do, but do have an announcement. Next weekend, I'm going to be fishing a tournament up on Lake Erie, that area. I believe it's West Harbor to be exact, but regardless tournament season's here hoping to do a couple tournaments gonna bring you guys along it should be fun but i'm gonna shut up let's go fishing all right guys we're keeping it simple today have chatterbait and a wacky rig and we're gonna go to town great start I have a fish. Bro, what? That's a chunk too. That's a two pounder. What just happened? Uh, all right. Well then. See you later, bye. That was weird. I just watched him eat it. There we go. Fish has the head of like a three pounder and a two pound body. Saw the flash under the water. I don't know if you guys could. That is a very hungry fish for fish number two. There we go. A little squeaker for fish number three. Almost just about got hooked. That's not good. Hey, yeah, uh, buddy. All right. Oh. There it goes. That that was not clean. Fish, yeah, little guy. Oh my. What was that? That thing almost took the rod out of me. That was the hardest bite I've ever had. Twelve seconds later. Go. 
be a big one. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Come here, buddy. There we go. That is the fish that knocked slack in my line. Look at how red his mouth is. You guys, that is a freaking tank. Solid two and a half pounds all day. Super dark, super red mouth. That's what you like to see. Let's get him back in the water. Okay, you wanted to get me soaked, I guess. There we go. That's a good one. Bam! There's a three, two and a half pounder. Hooked in the top of the mouth on the chatter donk. That's how we do it. Let's freaking go. Holy's hooked right there. Let's go. On the chatter donk. All right, well, pond one was a success, I'd say. We caught a bunch of nice little chunks and footballs, including that nice two fish at the end. Those were probably the best fish of the day, but we were at spot number two with... <laughs> with the chatterbait and the Sanko after a quick sip of Mountain Dew. Sponsor me. We're ready to go, so let's go fishing. Let me tell you guys what, there is no better smell after an Ohio winter than lawn clippings. Lawn clippings are where it is at. Just figured I'd make that known. Where are the largemouth bass? Why are you hissing at me? Oh, hell no. Why are you hissing at me? Where's the nest I didn't see? I don't see a nest. Back cast. There we go. This guy's even smaller. Fat though. No, don't go in the grass. Swim out of it? Went under it. All right, there we go. There's fish number three from this spot. Again, none of them are big, but they're fish. So, we will take it. Oh. 
Holy cow. I think we found a school to say the least. It's the biggest one yet. Pound and a half. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Oh, look, there's a fish right there, all right? I don't want to hurt you. I'm just going to catch the fish. Right at the bank. How am I gonna do this? Holy crap! Ow, ankle, ankle, ow, sugar. Best one so far. Choked it right at the bank. How about that? There's that fish. That was cool. I was watching the whole, watching the red and then just disappeared. I know you guys saw that one. Oh yeah.
All right, guys, well, spot number two was also a success. I actually started bleeding from my bass, though. Look at that right there. That means it's a good day fishing. But we're going to go to spot number three now. You know, we haven't really caught anything huge yet. But spot number three, I, I don't know if there's fish there or not. I've been there once. I caught a bass, so there are fish there. You can your prizes. I was walking around the Senko. I saw one bass, and it was like a three-and-a-half-pound bass. I caught it. I don't know if I still have a picture or not, but three and a half pound bass. But that was the only bass I saw. So we'll go back there. We'll look around. We'll see what's going on. All right, guys. Spot number three was a big fat fail. I did try and catch a carp on a flower, but that was about it. So we're going to go to one or two more spots. I got a spot in mind. We're going to try. I've never fished there before, but I've heard of a lot of fish caught there, and I've drove past it hundreds of times, and it looks juicy to say the least. They're fishing here. Might be the smallest fish of the day, but it's a fish. Little dinker dude. There we go. There we go, a little bit better one. It's a little football right there. Beautiful colors. There he goes. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you smash the thumbs up button. And smash the thumbs up button if you want to see me come back to these couple ponds here. These have a lot of potential, I think. We caught a bunch, like, couple, like, I think there's just really good genetics. I mean, yeah, the fish were small, but they're super, super chunky and fat. Good shoulders. Anywho, that will be all for today. We absolutely demolished them on the red chatterbait. You guys need to go pick these up from Blue Rock Custom Tackle. That, that's that that bait is the money it has been working for me all spring but if you guys did enjoy like i said smash the thumbs up button we'll catch you guys on the next one see ya